Hey, Michael with X-Force PC, continuing my FAQ series. This time we're going to talk about general computer questions that I get. And I'm going to tell you the questions, that way you can decide if you want to listen or not. Uh, what kind of machine do I need to run X-Plane with the settings maxed out? Boy, if I had a dime for every time I got that question, I'd be a rich man. How powerful of a machine do I need? Should I use SLI or Crossfire for, for flight simming? And can I use an AMD processor and not Intel? So starting with the first one, uh, what kind of machine do I need to run X-Plane with the settings maxed out? Well, that's an impossible question to ask because I, I need more information. Um, if you're planning to run it on a whole bunch of displays, like triple display or quad display, well, there is no such thing. You can't build a machine that'll run like four displays of X-Plane and have everything maxed out. Um, so it's... X-Plane has always been that program that you can never quite totally max out. Um, and you shouldn't expect to be able to. They always give you the room to crank those settings up to a level that'll just bring any computer to its knees. Um, so I refer to kind of high settings and medium settings when referring to, um, you know, my X-Plane settings. And, you know, high is essentially everything all the way up and then back it down one notch. So one notch from all the way up. And then medium, well, it's pretty much everything set to medium. Now, um, how powerful of a machine do you need? The number one answer to that question is, how do you plan to display it? That's the hugest factor in how much machine you need. Now, if you're just going to show it on a single 1080p display, well, you could get by with our budget system, which is like an i5 and a 4 gig um, graphics card and runs in the under a thousand, you know, eight, nine hundred dollars, something, excuse me, like that. If you plan to do NVIDIA surround, where you add these side monitors, um, and you have NVIDIA surround essentially erase these lines and treat this like one really wide monitor to give yourself 120 degrees of forward view, then you need something a little bit more powerful. Again, at least an i5 uh, from Intel is what we'd recommend. And then a still a 4 gig graphics card, or, or really probably, a, no, I'm sorry, a 6 gig at this point. But then you st we step that up to um, kind of the middle of the NVIDIA product stack to like the 1060. Um, now you might be watching this video two years from now and the 1060 seems really old. But anyway, you kind of go for a mid-level graphics card. Um, then the next option is you're doing quad screen, so you've got um, you know these three displays here, but then you're adding another display to have your instruments on. Right? So then I, we step it up, still an i5, but a high-end, unlocked, overclocked i5. And probably the, you know, 1070 or upper middle uh, graphics card is what you'd want. And then lastly, we have the, um, the 210 degree system, which you have, you know, this is me sitting in the middle, and this is top down, three 50 inch TVs, and they're running, they're 1080p's, but they're running three individual windows of X-Plane. For that, you want the fastest possible processor you can get and a high-end graphics card, not necessarily the highest. We have um, an upper middle card here. Um, in this particular scenario, the, the 210 degree, you run out of CPU power before you run out of GPU or graphics card processing power. So that's why we don't go with the fastest GPU here because the bottleneck is CPU. You do want as fast as possible uh, CPU in this particular configuration. Um, should I use SLI or Crossfire? Well, first of all, what is SLI and Crossfire? SLI is, is NVIDIA's technology for multi-GPU. In other words, two 
or three graphics cards. So you'd put these graphics cards side by side in the computer and then you run a little cable between them, kind of tying them together and then they work together to, in theory, give you double the performance. But what I can tell you is uh, X-Plane doesn't support SLI unless something's changed. Um, it never has. Same goes for uh, Microsoft Flight Sim and for Prepared. Again, unless something has changed and I'm not aware of it. We, even if they did support it, we still recommend getting the fastest single GPU you can get rather than going with this multi-card thing. Only in the most extreme cases is that something that we could ever recommend. Um, Crossfire is AMD's implementation of multi-GPU or multiple video cards. It's just how they branded it. NVIDIA calls it SLI and, uh, and AMD calls it Crossfire. But we do not recommend it. We recommend getting the fastest single GPU you can afford. Can you use an AMD processor is the last question. Up until a week ago, I would have said absolutely not. Do not even dream of it. AMD's single threaded performance, which is the most important performance, that's how fast a single core can go. Their single threaded performance is vastly behind Intel's. But with the Ryzen processors that just came out, they're They've caught up almost. Um, I still recommend an Intel quad core processor as the best performing processor for X-Plane. But the AMD, I used to call it, the AMD processors just dogs. They were just, they're just dogs when it comes to X-Plane. I mean, we're talking 40 frames per second on an equivalent, supposedly equivalent Intel down to like 20 or 15, I mean, it's like half as many frames per second you get on an AMD. Now with the new Ryzen stuff, there's a smaller delta. There's still a delta there, but it's a lot smaller. So if you're getting, let's say, 50 frames per second on an Intel a Ryzen, you might get like 40. So 50 versus 40 isn't such a big deal. Uh, but when it's 50 versus 20, that's a huge deal. So um, that's my thought on the, um, you know, whether or not you can use an AMD processor. And I think that's all of the questions in that, this particular FAQ. Hopefully that helps you understand um, a little bit more about computer performance and what you need to run X-Plane effectively.